Hey guys, Max Selfie Queen here, and welcome back to some more of The Sims 2. So, I wanted to do a quick little episode here because Holly and Count have, of course, returned for home from their vacation. And uh, it's time for them to reap the benefits of their vacation. So, Count here has got three benefit points, and basically, what these are is um, we can have benefits for the things that we do on our vacation, uh, the ones that we had on our vacation and all that stuff. And Count received three of them, so we need to uh, give him some stuff here. Let's give him uh, Refreshed. Everything's always easier when you get back from a great vacation. With this reward, your sim will have a bonus gain in skill building and badge building activities. Also, the sim will be able to complete homework faster. Of course, that's not a problem for us. Um, productive. Um, Industrious with this your sim will be a star in the workplace. Let's do that and then Carefree with this reward your sim will enjoy the benefit of an additional one slot Um Sim want to spend less time slacking off and having such after having such a good vacation comfort social and fun needs will take much longer to decay or forgiving um Let's just do carefree and then Holly got three as well. We'll do her productive. No, we'll do refreshed, carefree, and forgiving. Give them their extra wants from their vacation. Count's gonna get an extra want here, which is great. He could definitely need use it. But the vaca vacation was pretty much a huge success. Holly and Count had a great time. Unfortunately, Count actually lost one of his charisma skill points that he actually got while he was over there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and actually have him um, go ahead and get his charisma skill back up. We need to work on him. We need to work on getting him his, uh, his promotion to get his job all the way up. Because if he does get a... Um, his want, he should be good, actually. Holly's already good, though. She has extra wants that she gets as well, which is nice. We're gonna go ahead and open the business, though, too. We did lose quite a bit of money while we were there, unfortunately, which it happens every time you go and you, uh, you go on vacation. You tend to always uh, lose a lot of money, which is fine. But we can always get it back, no problemo. Um, Count got his charisma skill point back, so we'll have him stop that because he's probably hungry as well. Yeah, I know, buddy. I'm gonna have you get your food. So life's pretty much gonna go back to normal here for the Jones family. They're gonna, um, of course, do their thing with their business. Hopefully build up Count's business a little bit more. Count's business has not been doing good at all. Not like I thought it would. We ended off, well, when we started the business, it was kind of like on a bad note because we had a reviewer come into our business for the very first day and just decide, hey, I'm going to make sure that your business isn't good. He gave us a negative review and basically just did the complete opposite of what I wanted him to do. So, good for him, I guess. But, um, let me help you, ma'am. You need some help? No? It just seems like... No matter what I do, I can't do anything right. Like, every time I try to help someone, they don't need any help from me. I don't know. Like, I can't even sell them on anything. Count is not a very good businessman. He should probably switch with Holly. Oh, hello. Finally. We finally got business rank 1. Now we gain points to spend in the business perks tracker. Why not go ahead and do it? I mean, we need something. We need to... While most people need a boatload of friends to be really influential, you just need to be yourself. With this perk, your capacity to influence will take a nice swing upward. You know what? We could definitely use that. Noble reputation. Access mood. Uh, actually, we're going to do this. Because we need more reputation. Our reputation was actually really bad. It was actually down. So we're going to have Holly go into sales. And we're going to have Count be the cashier. Why not? We need to switch up the roles every once in a while. And Holly has tons of friends, so she should be really influential. I didn't know you had to have friends to um, sell someone on something, so 
since Holly has a lot of friends, she can go ahead and influence them. She should be good in that um, department. Yeah, look at Holly. She's doing good. She's getting sales everywhere. She's working it. She should have been the salesperson all along. <laughs> We're going to also have her do some restocking as well. She can always get some restocking skills that will help her out as well. I actually did make Count off screen um, build some more robots too. They're red robots, so they're going to be a different color, and hopefully they won't be um, broken because those robots that are broken were actually the ones that he, um, when he first started to build things and he didn't have such a good reputation with building yet, um, that's whenever his stuff went down and it ended up being broken and all that stuff. So we're going to have. Nice and completed, not broken robots from now on. Well, we should have. I don't know. I can't. I don't think I can have Holly restock this because she doesn't have any in her inventory. Being of inventory, Holly needs to definitely stock her fridge because she got a lot of stuff on the vacation as well as count. Um, that last part of the vacation, I kind of made them go ahead and just start um, fishing a lot because they were at the campgrounds anyway. So we need to have um, Holly here stock this fridge up with some supplies at some point in the future. Obviously we're not going to do that right now because we just started. But they got plenty of fish, okay? They were really doing good. And Holly also got, um, who got the souvenir? Did Holly get the souvenir? No, you did, okay. We're going to set our souvenir out here from our vacation. And Holly got some bugs. She was actually digging for treasure and she found this bone here. I don't think it's very useful so I'll sell it and get some money from it. But she also got some bugs um, and we can take her bugs and place them on the wall I believe. I thought we could uh, because you should be able to put your bug collection on the wall. Oh no! It's gone. Oh it's outside. I don't know why she has this rocket ship so we'll get rid of that. There it is. I'm going to put Holly's bug collection over here on the wall. She caught a few bugs um, while she was gone. I don't see any. Oh yeah, she caught three bugs here. Oh, four bugs um, out in the wild. And she got some bug badges for that. So we can put that on the wall. Holly, this girl, she doesn't know if she wants this or not. So you need to sell her on this amazing product here. You need to oh whoa 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 no 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 sell basic sell. I don't think we want to hire any other people for the business honestly because it doesn't really seem like it's needed. I don't think there needs to be any reason for them to have sales or anything. Um sales. What am I talking about? For them to have any extra people because it's just a little home business. If it was like a big huge business, I can understand. But for now, I'm gonna say no on having them do that. Holly actually, um, well, I don't know. It, it's weird whenever you're on vacation, things are a little bit different. But Holly actually, Holly and Count were trying to start a family while they were gone, and it seemed like it worked, but I guess because we were on vacation, it didn't work. So I don't know. We'll have to see how that actually turns out for her. But that's going to be their next goal is to try to start a new family. See if they can have little werewolf babies running around. Either that or it's just going to be like no werewolf babies. And they're going to be normal kids, but you never know. They could have the genes. They could have the uh, the count. And, um, well, actually, you know, with my genes being a vampire, they could. No, I cured him of vampirism. I was going to say he could be an, he could actually be, um, a vampire, have vampire kids, but I don't think that's how it works. Because we cured him of vampirism, so... Count, really? You need to get to cleaning, buddy. There's another thing that I actually wanted to do, too, as well. Um, I actually want to move them out of this house. As much as I've loved staying in the little tiny house um, that they have built with their... Uh, with all their savings and all their money, I think it's going to be time for us to move out and find a bigger place. Because if you want to start a family, you're going to have to definitely go ahead and get a bigger place. I mean, it's just going to have to happen. So I should probably take some of the important things 
and put them in Holly's inventory, her bug collection, and um, not put it in there. Why can't I put her bug collection? Oh, that's Count's inventory. Ugh. We'll have the roses there as well, and then we need to take our souvenir and Count's award that he got. Holly can take that with her. Um, Count also needs to put away all of his stuff in his inventory. I actually don't know. I don't think we can hold any more stuff in our inventory, though, um, because we have all these fish in here, so we might need to unload some of the fish. So let's um, stock the fridge with some of these fish here. Because I don't know when we're exactly going to move out. I do want to look at some houses though today for them. His carpool is about to come as well. Let's stock the fridge with some of these fish here. There we go. Now we'll have some nice food. And I should be able to get more stuff in my inventory. Oh, really? Oh great. Well, let's see if we take something out if I can put something in. Okay. It's just this stuff that I can't put in my inventory. I think because it's actually for sale. So if I take it off of for sale, I should be able to put it back in my inventory. I really don't want to leave this stuff behind. So if I can't take it with me, then I would really love to um Okay, good. It was just cuz it was for sale. If I can't take it with me, I wanted to make sure that I could at least sell them. Nobody's been buying this stuff so far, but once we get to our new place, I'm thinking we might want to search for some place that actually has um some what you can call it some um no what I'm trying to say some extra space I guess like an extra room just an extra area that we can use to um, have the business because I actually made this business onto their house so I think if I can get them I'm actually gonna delete this one because it's broken um, and we're gonna put that away they're not gonna be selling stuff here anymore so we're gonna take all of our inventory supplies and we're gonna put those away and then the rest of the stuff we can actually go ahead and sell because we don't need it anymore, considering we're about to move out to a new place. Ooh, wait, before I forget, I cannot leave without our first dollar we ever made. That obviously has to go into the, um, into the inventory. I don't think we need much more. I'm going to sell off a bunch of this stuff, because I want to make sure I have as much money as possible when we go to move out. I'm hoping I'll have enough time to look at houses today. Oh, I sell that. Uh, oh, well. That should be fine. Now we need to get rid of the cash register, the business sign, the stuff here. We're just going to empty out this room. Because we need all the moolah that we can get. I need to mark all the stuff not for sale. So there we are. Oops. Okay, now we can sell all this stuff. Delete all this. Okay, I have to delete it one at a time, apparently. I might think about doing actually something with Holly as well and make her have a business too. Since she um, got herself her top career track. Might actually see about having her start her own bakery. He's actually really good at cooking, surprisingly. He's been really good at cooking. Okay, so we got everything there. We'll have them put their stuff that they got from their wants. We'll have them put that in their inventory as well. Because we can take it with us, that way we don't have to purchase it again. Don't need these anymore, unfortunately, which is fine. We will get rid of that, and I think that's about it. The rest of the stuff I think we can actually leave here, because the house will actually be um, emptied out once we leave. I don't think we necessarily need the car anymore, unfortunately, so we're going to get rid of the car. 
Um, but before we head out, let's go to the neighborhood. Let's save our game. Do not want to forget to save. But we need to go to the neighborhood anyway and see what we can look for and see what we can find for these guys to move into. I'm thinking about a nice three bedroom house might work that we can think they could have in case they have two kids. They'll have an extra bedroom or like an office or something. And plus if I want to move them out, I have to actually do it from this area here. So let's just go ahead and do that. I mean, why not? We'll be moving them in in the next episode, but we can see what we got to work with money-wise right now as well. Before I do that, I should actually see how much money we are working with. Alright, they have got 78000 so they can pretty much move into anything. They can even move into an apartment if they want to, but I don't know if I want to do the apartment life for them. So let's see what we got. We've got um, a two-bedroom, two-bath, baby home, which I think is a small one compared to other stuff. Um, this one has two bedrooms. I already saw that. This one has four bedrooms. Wow. And it has a little extra room on. That seems a little too much. This one has one bedroom and one foot five bath. So definitely don't want that one. Two plus bedroom, one plus bathroom. Now that one might be good to look at. It has two plus bedrooms and one plus bathroom. It looks like it has some little extra space as well where we could build on. Um, we do have enough. Yeah, we do have enough. This one has two bedroom, two bath. So it's a nice little starter home and it's got a big backyard area. That might not be a bad idea too. This one is 96,000 so we can't afford that one. Hmm, let's take a look at this one. Let's go cheaper, okay? We're gonna start cheap and make our way up. But, I mean, I know they've earned it, really. They've got $78,000, so they've definitely earned the right to live in a lavish lifestyle and all that stuff. But, I just want to start slow here. Go down and see. We got this two-bedroom. What I'm basically looking for is, like, the area surrounding it right here, because we can definitely build a nice area there. So we've got pretty much nothing down here. The bedrooms are all up top. A little tiny bedroom over here, so that could be a kid's room. And a main bedroom here, one bathroom, and then a half bath down here. So it doesn't look too bad. The only thing is, kind of cramped. And I feel like if they want to start a family, it's good, but then once they get, I don't know. Once they have the business though, the business could be nice to go here. So that's definitely going to be um, something to think about. I'm going to say no right now. I'm going to check out this last house here. I think we're going to check out these two. Um, maybe another one. I don't know. We'll try out this 34000 See if this one... Harmonious Haven. See how much that... That could be a better place. Harmonious Haven seems like a good place to go. I only want to check out a couple though because I don't have much time. I did want to look around and show you guys what I'm kind of looking for. And I think by the next episode, we might go ahead and actually have them move in. So we got in a lot of space out here. Um, backyard and porch and stuff. We have a nice pond area. It's not a lot of space to build a new um, area. But I guess if we wanted to, we could turn the front door area into the business. Although, there's not much in the way of a house. It kind of just revolves around this pool here. And I'm not about that. So I'm going to say no. Unfortunately, seems like a nice retirement home for people who are retired and they want to live their days lavishly with their pools that are indoor and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go that one. All right, so next we have 47,000 and this one is one plus bedroom, one foot five bath. So I'm going to say no to that one. Yes, the fortress is two bedroom. No, I think I've seen that one. That one's not too good. This one is 9,000. Has a nice backyard there but it doesn't look too big so not good for the business aspect of things that's what we just moved out of this one is 39,000 has a lot of space um i believe that has like three or four bedrooms though it has a lot of bedrooms 78,000 that would be right on the budget unfortunately it is three bedroom 2.5 bath 
I don't think they can actually move into that one. They can, actually. Hmm. Okay. We might want to check that one out. That would be right at the budget, though. We wouldn't have any money for everything else. And these other places back here don't look like they give a lot of space. We'll have to see on those. Um... 63 for this one. 3 bedroom, 2.5 bath. Nah. What about this one? 2 bedrooms. 19,000. That's 2 bedroom as well. This one is 64,000 and is 4 bedrooms. That seems like a lot. That's a little much. Uh, 2 bedrooms. 1 bedroom. We definitely don't want that one. Ready to look at that one? I think I already looked. Three bedroom. Rockin' Manor. Hmm. No place for businesses, unfortunately. I'm thinking we might go with the first one. I really am. Smaller is always better price-wise because you can always build it up and make it what you want it to be. So I think we might actually move them into that place there. To the 24,000. Let's do that right now before we end off the episode. We're going to move them into this house here. In the next episode, we will start decorating the house, of course. And then we've got to um, also go ahead and actually build our business as well. I'm thinking a semi-sweets slash robot business. I don't know about you guys, but with Holly having such a good cooking career, you'd have her continue to make some cool little stuff to sell. I don't know mean like a semi-restaurant type place we got plenty of space to work with holly has her cooking skills aren't the best but they are pretty good she does cook a few things so we're gonna go ahead and probably leave that off here um we'll work on their house a little bit later because we've got to take all of their stuff out of their inventory as well um to have for them and then i need to get started building on their um business area although they are both they do both have careers right now so could focus on family now and then worry about the business as aspect of things later but i think we're gonna go ahead and just end it off here guys so next time we will be decorating the house up and making it look right and we're gonna get started on that family hopefully holly and count have some good luck with that and then we'll see what we're gonna do about the business stuff later but i will see you guys in the next episode of the Sims 2.